What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? Chris back with you guys with another interesting video. Now, most of you guys, I just want to make sure we're recording. Um, most of you guys have seen the last two videos, and if it hasn't blown you away, I don't know what will. Um, now, I believe that the, uh, the civilization that was on Mars was a, like, a lot like what we are today. Um, some people even speculate that maybe we are the Martians. And I've already said this, like, I think some of these, um, uh, these scientists are starting to believe that. They're starting, you know, not a whole lot of them, but there's a few of them going, maybe we are the Martians. Now, is it possible that, you know, history does repeat itself, like they say, but we're doing it in reverse. What do I mean by that? Well, if you, if you think about, let's say we don't even live on Earth, we live on Mars, and this is what we've always, where we've always lived. But we decided... We're going to check out the third rock from the sun, and we're going to say, hey, you know, just to preserve our human species, why don't we jump over to that, start a civilization on there? We're doing the same thing, only flipping the script. Think about it. We now live on Earth. Let's go check out the fourth planet. So is it possible they had a pending doom back in the day? And, of course, that's the way it looks. They had a, this huge catastrophe on that planet. Um, and if that's true, then think about this a minute. You've got, you know, if we were the civilization on Mars and said, hey, why don't we go check out that planet? We decide now we got civilizations on both, you know, Mars, you know, either we have a war with each other and kill each other off or some other species, alien species blew us up or, you know, we had a war with them or whatever the case was. It might have just been nothing but foreign bodies in the solar system or interstellar bodies that came to the solar system and totally bombarded the planet and wasted it. And of course, you know, if you look at, uh, uh, was it? Uh, I think it's John Brandenburg who said that. Uh, you know, again, he saw these two um, huge flashes uh, of light in 1941 on Mars. So, uh, did they have a war with the, themselves, or did they have a war with something else and killed off the planet? But because we also lived on here on Earth, you know, we were able to survive. Now we're actually flipping it around. I mean, you know, of course, you guys can give me a theory about that. Um, the other thing is this, this video here, and I know I'm going to have these people going, oh, here he goes again, uh, cars on Mars, it, uh, you know, and I said this before, it's like, you know, for some reason people have this mental block. It doesn't matter. Let's say, let's suppose for a moment that NASA came out and said today, uh, we've been lying to the public for these such and such reasons. Okay. And of course everybody goes, oh yeah, we always knew you were a liar. Well, that's fine. Um, but now... And let's say they show the real pictures, meaning unedited at all. No obfuscation, no manipulations, so on and so forth. The people would still react saying, you know what? It's Devon Island, which is foolishness because it's nothing more than testing ground. And people should know that it's not even it's not even hidden anymore. People know this anyway. Um, or that's just some place on Earth. That's, you know, this guy's junkyard over here. Why is it that people are just so mentally blocked to, to believe there could be another species out there, or it could have been us back in ancient times. How do we know? What is it with people who refuse to believe anything you tell them or show them? Even if it's not my channel, I could care less. If people believe me, great. If they don't, you know, I'm, listen, I'm not here to push this on people, and I've always told this. This is the reason why I say, guys, I want to do this because I enjoy doing it, and then I'm going to bring it to you guys, and this is what I think it is. Now, my buddy Will Farrar from What's Up in the Sky, 37, he always said, I see what I see, you, you and you see what you see. And it's it's about right, right? Um, but I always tell people, listen, come to your own conclusions. Research the photos. This is the reason why I give you guys the links in the bottom. Uh, look it over yourself. Do you think it is what I see it is, or say it is, or do you see something else? But you can almost bet that 90% of the things I show you, they're not naturally occurring. They're just not natural. And this video is no different. I want to show you this because this is just bizarre. And this one really does look like a car. Now, we're going to go back to Sol 610. And I'm going to show you that. Uh, and this, of course, is from NASA and then JPL, uh, Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Um, and this is the photo you'll be getting. Now, this is, I mean, uh, wow. Now, I did this video, uh, I should say this picture, I should say, back in, I believe it was 2014. And I did this. And, of course, a lot of people were like, oh, my God, it does look like a car. Holy crap. And then there's some people, of course, oh, you know, you come out with the people like, F you. I mean, like, that's, you know, really intelligent. Um, not even an explanation, just F you. Or they scoffed at the idea. But, again, I mean, I said this already in my previous video. It's like, look how technologically advanced we are. And we're still using a round thing on our cars that we travel around on. No, they're not the wooden spoked wheel back in the covered wagons or anything, 
But that's not the point. It's still a wheel. It's something round that spins on an axle. It's no different. And yet we're still doing this. And look how look how more technologically advanced our vehicles have become. Other a thing you should uh, you know think about too is just because there's what looks like a car in these photos doesn't mean they use combustion. How do we know they didn't use something else? Fusion. Something else that drove the vehicle. How do we know? People automatically make the assumption, oh, well, you know, like, what they have? Like, uh, you know, uh, oil like our engines? And maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Of course, it's all speculation. We don't know. But the point is, they had to have gotten around just like us. Eventually, we will be, you know, flying around in hovercrafts everywhere or just, just you know, cars that go in the air. And, you know, we'll phase out the vehicle or the, the wheel, if you will. Um, either way you look at it, there's some way, somehow, we're going to have the wheel around. That's all there is to it. I think we'll have the wheel for the next hundred years. Will we have flying uh, vehicles? Sure. But I think we're still going to have cars no matter what. Anyway, I don't know if you guys can even see this car, but it's halfway buried in the ground where it's like halfway up the windows and that's it. The other observation you're going to make, once I show this to you, now keep in mind, this is the curiosity and you can always tell because it always says right here, if you look at the top, it says uh, uh, right there, MSL, which is the Mars Science Laboratory. So, um, Right off the bat, so that's your that's your curiosity. But if this is it right here, and it just happens to stop, I mean, it's pretty big. It's the size of a small SUV. So if you if it stops, the 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 car or the object in question is probably quarter to half the size. Which I'm starting to think that these people, the civilization that was on this planet, were about half the size of us. Now, as silly as that may sound, just about everything we've seen lately is small in size. Why is that? Now, I'm not saying that's true. That is true. I'm just, and of course, again, it's all pure speculation because we don't know. And again, we can't vet it. Um, but just based on the observations and the photos we've been seeing, it's just like, wow. But anyway, let's jump into it because I don't know if you've seen it, but it's right here. Don't have to do a thing to this photo. Check this out. Watch this. Oh, well, let's click on it. Let's get the better, uh, anyway, the better resolution here. And we're going to jump right into this. And what the hell? I mean, this thing looks like a friggin' car. It's buried. You see it in the dirt? Right there. Side window, another window. Looks like there's like some kind of, I'm going to call it a two by four, but it looks like it's sticking through the window right there. The front window, and it looks like it's been busted up right here. But I mean, what the hell is that? You know, and it does actually go forward here, and you can see that. But I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to go into Photoshop. I'm going to show you guys this a little bit better. And some other crazy things in this photo that clearly, wow, that just don't look natural. Now, here's the other thing. I want to mention because even if this is not a car like I'm suggesting, and I'm okay with that, guys. You know, people think they're going to they're verbally beat me up. They say, oh, he thinks it's a car. What a weirdo. I don't care. What I'm saying is you can almost bet it's intelligently made. It's not a rock. And you can tell this the way that thing is. Let's jump into this. And I'm going to show you this. Okay. Now, I've already made this bigger because this is how big this picture was. And that's you can see right on the bottom here, it's 25%. Now, when I put more pixels into it, you're going to see the size doesn't change, but yet... Picture does, right? Okay, that's that's so it doesn't break up when we get into this photo. Now, let's check this out. Look at this thing. What are you kidding? And I'm going to show you this right there. Look at it. It looks like something sticking out of it, like debris inside the window or whatever the heck this is. And you can see this right here. Look at the way this thing goes down. And you can see how it's like it's white. You see that right there? Where they, you can still see that line, that detail in this, whatever this thing is, going down, but yet it, they put it white. Why? Because this thing continues on. Even the front of this. Look, at there's something sticking up right here, and it's casting a shadow. Check this out. It looks like it goes like this. You can see like a slant down here. And, of course, they made this. They probably just manipulated it so you couldn't see any kind of details in it. But I'm guessing from here to about here is that vehicle. Now, is it a car? It looks to me as, like a car. Uh, people could call it pareidolia. Call it what you will. I could care less. The point is, it looks like something we have here on Earth. And I think everybody would agree. Okay. So, here's another thing. Here's what looks like a block. Right there. And you can see it goes like this. Rectangular at the top. And then, of course, it looks like a block. And then you get this other top of what looks like a square block or something. But there's something right there. Look at this. Looks like a Martian mailbox. See it? I don't know what that is, but you can clearly see there's something else right next to that. It looks like it's got a corner here. This, I mean, oh my God. The manipulation in this photo is ungodly. Here's the funny part too. Like I said, if you look at this right here, eh, you know, it looks realistic, looks pretty good. And then you look at this pile of crap in the back. If people cannot see that this is CGI, I really don't know what to tell people. 
I really don't, man. It's just bizarre how people just don't want to see that. Um, how about this? We well, got all this rugged terrain. All of a sudden, you got look. What is that? A blanket sitting on the ground right here? What the hell is that? I mean, it's just right there, plain sight. Plain as can be. Looks like it goes like this. Boom. Goes like this. Goes like that. Up and down. And it looks like this objects underneath this. What that is, couldn't tell you. Check this out. This is this is pretty cool too. I don't know what the hell this is. Some kind of weird creature sitting on the ground. Look at it. One, two, three. Looks like a giant tarantula or something sitting on the ground right there. Now, again, I'm just being silly a little bit, but it kind of does look like that, doesn't it? Um, okay, let's jump over to... Here's another interesting object. Look at this. Look at the way this thing comes down. Has this space, like a square opening. Has this piece coming down. Looks like it's curved. Goes across, and there's another one on the other side. In other words, it's hollow. There's space under it. How is this a rock? You know, and I, I, I just... it's. Again, I'm so dumbfounded that people just fail to just look at that and say, well, yeah, I mean, maybe there's a possibility that what he's showing doesn't matter if you believe me with it, with the object I'm saying it is, but maybe there's something to this and that maybe I should research this more. And that's what I always encourage everybody to do because um, I prefer that they did. Now, I started to, you can see where I did this, this area right here. And of course, I did this one here. To try to bring this out a little bit, a little bit more detail, because they love guys. They love to highly contrast and whiten everything up. They just enjoy doing that. I think it just, it's just a perfect way to to, to mask over anything. Because the brighter it is, what happens? The details disappear, right? Well, that's exactly what they're doing here. Okay, so I jumped way down here. Now I want to show you. That's you got that piece there. You got what looks like this vehicle sitting right here, and there's other objects all in the back here. I'm not even sure what this is. Hold on. Let me go back up a little bit. I don't know if it... No, I can't. Um, I thought I made this lighter at one point. Um, but you can see this line right here going like this. You see it goes down, and you can see like this other line, almost like a windshield, or like my friends in the UK say a windscreen. This weird thing just sitting right here. You can see like the line coming down. Let me show you that a little bit closer. This is weird. I mean, just just bizarre thing. Look at this. goes across. This fine line goes down. You can see where it's been manipulated. You can see what it's like right here. goes across. Goes back up. And look at how it just looks weird from the either side of this. See it? Here, 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 or here. And yet in the middle here, it's got that weird, like a filmy kind of look kind of thing to it. Just weird stuff here, guys. I mean, where does it end? Now, I enhanced this a little bit more. This weird, whatever this thing is. But check this out. What the hell? This is the original. And I just try to bring out some of the details to it. What? What is that, guys? I mean, it's literally in the middle of a field of rock. And yet there's something underneath. You could see whatever that is. I don't know if you guys can I'll go up close a little bit so you guys can check this out. See that? What is that? I don't I mean, you guys tell me what you think it is. I'm not going to make this one really long. I just wanted to show you that. Let me zoom into what I thought was this weird looking. Looks like some kind of weird critter or creature sitting. Looks like a giant tarantula. See it? But I don't think that's what the case is. Although, who the heck knows, right? Um, it may be just something part of something else, and it's kind of buried and it's part of this garbage. You can see something sticking up right here. I don't know. It kind of looks that way, right? Um, just really, and guys, you just need to have a really good look at this. Look at that. It looks like some kind of weird, look, at, it goes like this, goes across, goes down, has this middle piece right in the middle, just smack dab in the middle of a rock. Now, is it possible it's a dark rock that has just two halves? That's a good possibility. A very good possibility. This looks like whatever this is was bent and dented and everything else. Whatever this is, look at this. It goes down like almost has like this center and has what these spokes coming off. See it? One, two, and has this dark center. But it goes down like this. This goes on. It looks like it bows this way, goes across, and then bows the other way, and then has these weird features. Like it's been dented and smashed to pieces. What do you guys think that is? Now, I did do a little bit more on this section right here. Try to bring that out a little bit more. Tell me what you guys think that is. That, to me, looks like it's buried. Now, I kind of didn't go all the way right here because this, you can see where this line goes down like this. See that right there? It goes like this. I believe whatever this object is is here to here, from this point to this point. Now, as far as I'm concerned, even if it's not what I say it is, doesn't matter. What do you guys think it is? That's what matters. Because it's not just me, just one brain, one set of eyes. There's many of you guys, and that's why I like doing this. I like getting your input. So you guys tell me which you believe that is. I'm going to go way back in here a little bit real close. It looks like a like a 2 by 4 or some kind of debris thrown in a window. It looks like a car that's been buried halfway up its windows. 
that's just the way it looks to me. You know. Um, and again, I'll show you that other object that was right next to it. This one right here. I'll go a little bit more on that. I mean, what is that? Look at this. Looks like, actually, you can see the third one. There's one, two, three, like a design or something else. Or something that looks like it's a, like a fan sitting there. But I don't think that's the case. But it, it does this, goes across, and then it has another one. But it looks like it's been dented, mangled, whatever we want to call it. And if they did have a catastrophe, this may just be parts of it. We're just seeing remnants of, of that particular catastrophe. Um, and up here, same thing. There's something right here. Like I said, I don't know what this is. But you can see how fake that looks. My God. And something's coming off like this, going like this here. It's going across. See that right there? I don't know if you guys can see that. I just noticed this. Going across. There's a fine line going like this right here, going across. And it goes back up. So whatever this object is, and maybe this whole thing right here, or it's just something else. I don't believe it's a mound. I, I really don't. I think it's something much more than that. And, uh, of course, they're doing their best to cover it up. But anyway, you guys tell me which you believe this is. He's got these blocks in the back. I brought out more. You can see it right there. You can see where the line goes down like this. So I brought that block out more with a little bit and just whiten that up a little bit. And then you get this other square. And then whatever the hell this... I think it's a car. I mean, it's just what it looks like to me. But anyway, guys, you give me your take on it. Tell me what you think is going on. Um, and again, that's what it's all about. I just bring this stuff to you, tell you what I think it is, but I want you guys to do the research. This is the reason why you guys get the links. But anyway, guys, I'm going to let you rock and roll. I want to, uh, I got some, I mean, I got a ton of these things coming out, so stay tuned for that, and, um, you know, like I said, always, you know, share the video, give me a thumbs up, always appreciate it, you guys know that, and uh, most of all, throw your comment down below, let me know what you guys think it is, it's nothing more than rock, just a fancy rock, just sitting on the, on the, uh, the Martian surface, or is it much more than that, you guys tell me, anyway guys, you have yourself a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.